Welcome. My name is Bjorn Barrett, and this is another Ed Listed Show. And what I'm going to do is today we're going to do another teardown for Ed of the HP Chromebook 11 G5. Uh, this is a non-touch Chromebook, but it's still a great one to review for education. So let's unbox this thing to start off with it. So I'm opening it up. Obviously got a paperwork uh, coming up. Something that is a pet peeve of mine is non-recyclable material for packing material. So I'm not too happy to see the styrofoam. Pull it out. Uh, there's a couple other more plasticky items in here. If I open it up, it has uh, a standard brick. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's still you. Oh, this is not USB-C. This is still the older version of a standard old plug. Like I said, this is not the touch version, but I'm going to save that for later. I don't really need it to take it apart. These items. So it has a little bit more packing material than I would like to see. I wish it was a lot easier. And throw that off to the side. So taking a look at this, um, I have some pads on the bottom of this. Uh, the feel is actually pretty good. Uh, oh, more packing material. Throw that down there. Uh, it does not open all the way, which I think is a negative in terms of um, possible breakage. Because I think there's a lot of times where it might land like this and it gets pushed down. Uh, definitely a potential issue there. Uh, the white keyboard background, I actually kind of like this because if you're in lim dim light, uh, you'd be able to see the keys pretty easily and see the back, see your keyboard pretty easily. So that's actually an advantage um, that I don't think most people think about is most students do this at night. Uh, so let's start taking this thing apart. Uh, the screen start off with. Uh, HP does something really, I find annoying. Right, well, let me see if I walk right up there. But right at the bottom here, there's two little things. You wouldn't even know it, but they are stickers. So you got to peel those stickers off. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Um, they actually wanted me to take the whole bottom off and all the in hinges. So and there's the first little sticker. Yeah, not happy. <laughs> okay, plastic number two, a little sticker number two come off. Next challenge, there's two little screws right down in here. Would it be nice if I could put a screwdriver in? No. I actually have to kind of twist this thing. And I'm pushing, I'm twisting, I'm lifting this whole thing up. It's really uncomfortable. And it's out. Big flathead screw, or big flat screw right there. And big flat screw. They definitely could have made that a lot easier. So once those two screws are out, now we can take our pry tool and kind of go in here and pull it off. Another one you notice is, oh, that actually wasn't too bad. And you know, This one actually has a little bit of a lip. I'm trying to get it so you can see it right here. Uh, that lip is, eh. 
probably not the it's been a pain in the other ones now that it's off it's just a very standard screen i could take four screws one two three Ooh. where'd that go four so those four come out screens right there um, there is one little connector uh, right here so that little connector just needs to come off Looks like I turned on the Chromebook because it's on while I'm working on this. It's never a good thing, but they like to do that. Anything else I'm looking at right here, pretty strand, standard. Uh, other than the screws in that very awkward place, I think this is a pretty fairly simple uh, change if you needed to do it. So I, I definitely eh, could have been designed better but still not horrible. Um, it looks like a lot of the other screens, I think most of these screens, LCD screens are going for like uh, 50 bucks on, on amazon.com. Not really that expensive, but still pretty easy to change. Last one going back together. And it's going back together. Actually, this looks interesting. It almost looks like I don't need to unscrew that. I just need to slot that in. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna even begin to try that because there's a lot of you have to push it in. But so it's snapping back together pretty easily. Smooth. Let's get these back together. These big flat screws. So I'm going to try and ah, slide that screw in. Push. Get that lined up. push on that plastic it feels like I'm gonna break it doing it but it's how it needs to get done is that lining up again no it's not lining up oh my goodness this is <sighs> whose bright idea was to put it down there I don't know but I've seen it on several of the several of their uh machines it seems to be a design feature not something I suggest uh, I, I just want that around for effect okay it's hard because I'm still used to it facing me and not necessarily the camera and It just feels like I'm breaking this thing. I'm putting so much pressure on the on it. It just is not going to line up. Okay, and then I can kind of I mangled this sticker, but I'm gonna put the sticker back. Nearly <laughs> just the same. I'm, uh, I'm going to be at the uh, Vermont Fest conference in Vermont, and I have a session on disassembling these. So this is my pre pre-session disassembly this is my practice run uh, okay so that was changing the screen a uh, little bit more of a pain than it could have been but now let's see the other problems is also the underside uh, pulling this off we want to check the battery how to change the battery and how to change, or actually not change the battery, but reseat the battery. That is another common thing. Uh, reseat the mouse, 
I've seen in Chromebooks and uh, changing keyboard. Another kind of a common thing that we have to do fairly often. Okay, so I pulled out so far one, two, three, four, five screws. Now I've done the, taken this part already, and I already know I got to take out the uh, four pads in the bottom. I hate taking out pads because every time you do it, you just kind of ruin the ruin the little plastic, ruin the um, the glue that's on it. The other thing is these pads have a specific placement that they go in. So I'm going to put these off to the side, and I'm going to keep the placement. Um, so that one's back toward me. That one's there. Four screws there. Oh, that's so much fun. Now I can take out those screws. Now the screws apparently are at least the same size, but it's annoying that you got to take off the pads to get to the bottom. Um, lose the glue. So once you do this once, kind of expect that the student is going to lose those pads and there's nothing you can really do about it. Now there's two other spots back here. There's other little pads here. I don't know if those come up or not. It's okay. Come on in. Sorry about that. Uh, had to do my job. <laughs> Uh, I had a kid who had something on the 3D printer. He needed to come pick it up. So where was I? Um, two other little tiny nubs in the back. So I've had to take off six little tiny stickers to get to all the screw, not even stickers, the feet and rubberized area. So uh, again, once you do it once, it's probably not something we should be doing again. Okay, moment of truth. Anytime you're pulling this off, it's one or two things. Either the bottom's going to come out, nope, stay off, or the keyboard's going to come up. I'm always hoping for the keyboard up because that makes keyboards much simpler to change. And then I'm going to kind of bend that to kind of open up where a little spot. Oh, looks like the keyboard is coming up. I'm going to take my little pry tool and kind of go around that and let's see if I got all the screws out okay so ah ah I hate tabs there we go okay I'm out so the keyboard came up so that means this keyboard is a simple change um, there are two tabs that you can pull out and it comes right up. The battery in this one is mounted by one, two, three, eh, maybe three mounts. Um, for the sake of this assembly I'm actually gonna pop these two up and pull them out yeah come on out 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 keyboards out so definitely a plus on that uh, looking at the inside looks like it has a connection over here battery is big and square in the center one two three mount points and it looks like a 
fourth. <laughs> One of the, and it looks like the uh, mount point in the back right here also secures the battery uh, as a fourth mount point. So actually that's kind of good. So I think this battery is quite secure. Uh, the Chromebook is light. Uh, this is going to come out with one, two, three. So if you need to change the motherboard, that's pretty easy. So repairability, I would say this is actually quite fixable for in terms of the keyboard, um, in terms of items. I think the only hard part with fixing this one is if you you have to pull the stickers off or you have to get the screws in the, un, in the awkward spot. Um, as for placement of items, I think it's really good. As for the lightness of this, it's really good. So the HP 11 G5, uh, I think it would be a great Chromebook for schools, keeping in mind some of the repairability is awkward, but <coughs> definitely a decent machine. Okay, thank you very much for watching uh, the Ed Listen Show, uh, and never stop learning. Mm -hmm.